All right, welcome back to round five. We don't have our opponent just yet. All right, we're playing a Miracle. I've played against a Miracle before on Ravager Shops, which again is a good matchup and I want the die roll. Doesn't mean they're on it since like a lot of people so far today have been on different decks than I'm used to for them. Uh, I think this is fine against Ravager Shops because we can we can go Polluted Delta, Spell Pierce, their play. Uh, then we can drop, I, I probably want to put Sylvan Library just because that's the way the fewest things go wrong. If we draw a land, it'll be something else, but you know. No, okay. So this is something else entirely. Do I want to Spell Pierce a Black Lotus? Probably not. Probably gone from playing one of my good matchups, one of my bad ones. All right, I can't do anything about that. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is not good for me. This is not what we wanted to see. Cast ancestral now. We know you want to. Nope. All right. Okay, okay. So they're probably playing all these dazes that have gotten me nonstop every game. Um, all the time. I'm just getting dazed out like crazy. Uh, I, th I think we have to go with Sylvan, though. Nope, didn't get dazed. Resolved, in fact. That makes me think they're going to go like Mox Narset or something. I'm just super pessimistic in this matchup, if, if you can't tell. We don't get to pay for life much, which is very unfortunate. Ay! You can go back. I kind of want to pay for life to have this Force of Will as backup. Don't think it's crazy to do that. And I'll cast Deathrite Shaman, which can block an elemental and then get going later in the game. And then I've also got Force of Will for backup. Okay. So this is like full on Jeskai then. Plow that. Specifically, mental misstep. All right. Um, boy, are we throwing the Leovold or the Oko? Leovold's got to be better, right? I mean, in before Pyroblast, but whatever. Nightmare matchup is nightmare. I'm such restricted. How did this decks always have it? Oh god. Oh boy. No attacks. Interesting. Okay. So we don't get to do anything with this. I'm sure they, they always have days, so we just have to accept that. But we're still we're still playing this Leopold. I don't care. We're running it into days. All right. Hmm. Now, if they want to bolt it, they have to either wait till my turn, so that the Narset prevents me from drawing anything extra. Naturally. I mean, this just is a bad matchup. It's not like they're getting lucky. I just, you know. Uh, 
I kept a hand for a, a different deck. And I don't think I can stop all of these creatures, plus an Arsid stopping me from drawing anything. Seems very unlikely. <clears throat> but Tabernacle would be good here. Okay, we're going to draw our card. I'm just going to sit. Voice of Vigor doesn't do anything. Veil of Summer does. Tabernacle does. Toxic Deluge does. Fatal Push does. Um, it's not really a collector roof matchup, although you know they can block certain things, but it's as likely to hurt me as it is to hurt them, and that's just not the best thing in the world. Alright. Uh, what else? What else? Don't really. I've never seen a wasteland out of these decks, so I don't really want to put. Trophy just a little bad. I think they have a lot of. I think they have a lot of basics. Maybe trophy's bad. Let's find out. Yeah. I probably should just do some sort of boot camp for myself, where I force myself to learn specifically this matchup. I mean, it's one of the worst matchups, but. Um, you know, you can get ground even on your worst matchups. Although, I chose not to do that with a lot of dredge. I'm just like, eh, I don't need any more dredge stuff. All right. Well, I like this. I mean, we know that this Ancestral is getting mental misstepped, but, you know, that's fine. You know what I should do? I should set the upkeep stop. Okay. Okay. Definitely not force of negation in any that. I've got eight cards in hand. I'm gonna have nine. Go down to eight. Probably gonna have to discard though. I don't like that at all. So, what makes me have to discard the least? Oh no, I don't have to discard at all. All right, I'll just play. Deathrite Shaman, leaving Spell Pierce and Force of Negation up. And Fatal Push. It's probably one of the better starts I can get against this deck. Oh, I should move that up, keep stop. I hate it when other people have a keep stop set on me for no reason, so I should be nice and not force them to suffer. Boop. All right, so what do we do now? We could go for Leovold or Oko. I wanna go for Leovold first. Leovold just shuts off a lot of their cards. I managed to do the one thing that wouldn't actually cast it. But I can't protect this against force or anything. But playing Leovold also plays around Spell Pierce a little bit. Oh. Were they gonna they were, I think they were gonna try to daze and then realize that like I actually had them out. Sure. So what are they gonna grab? Ancestral recall? Mystical tutor for ancestral recall is not the scariest thing in the world. But then the question is, well actually no, it can't be ancestral recall because Leovold stops that. They're gonna try to grab like plow or something. Really don't want to have to chuck this Oko. Oh, just that. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Which implies that they do have a red source. Yeah. Oh yeah, do it now. Do it now. Lavinia, you say. This is not as scary as they'd like it to be. Because I've got Fatal Push. So, first things first. Draw a card. Boop. Next things. This. 
black fatal bush. I like that. Yeah, that seems the most reasonable. I feel okay about this game. We have both Veil of Summer, a bunch of beatdowns, Three of Old. The Veil of Summer doesn't help against Lightning Bolt. Yeah. Tap Sweet Clover. So I could just give myself protection. I could just give myself Hexproof from blue, and then they don't draw a card. Is that good? I don't know that it's good, but I kind of actually want to. Okay, so now I can Demonic Tutor for something that kills the Mentor. But I kind of need to something that kills the Mentor and isn't black. That's actually not great for me. Oh. Maybe I could have thought that through better. I just grabbed Time Walk. No, I can't. Grab like cruise. Oh, I could grab, grab Oko. Targeting, starting with Oko. I would love to draw a card. It does not help me. Are there any lands in the graveyard? No. Oh. Huh. So I could deluge for one, doesn't really seem great. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I don't really need. Mox Jet. I don't want to play Black Eye. Definitely want to grab that. Now there are cards in the graveyards. <clears throat> All right, I always guess wrong. Narset. Narset's annoying. But I don't know, they've already played their land, they've got one card in hand. They can have like Lotus into something crazy, I guess. Gush. Well, Gush is not bad for them. It does allow them to pick a trial or something. Trigger prowess. Trigger prowess on that. So now the question is: Is there any level of? I should just attack with everything because if they take any damage, they die. Did they not notice I had a death right shaman in play? Okay. 
<clears throat> All right. Well, that went well, but that was like the perfect draw. I didn't see any Dreadhorde Arcanists, which makes me not really want to bring in Grafteer's Cage. Everything else seems okay. Nothing here was like truly terrible. All right. Just got to cross the fingers and pray. Game three on the draw against one of my worst matchups. What could go wrong? Okay. Well, this is not terrible. This is like turn one, time walk. Should I want to time walk turn one? Would I rather just death right shaman and then time walk in the future? Depends on how busted their hand is. I feel like getting Death Rite in play before time walking is more important. And if they bolt it, I think I'm going to let them. I may just sit on this time walk for a while because my turn is getting better and better as time goes on. If this is Pyromancer, I may have to counter it. It is not. And I basically never counter a time walk unless it's going to get me killed. I don't know what their hand is if they're not doing anything. Which mentor we counter it? With our days proof thing. And then if they if they have nothing, which is unlikely but possible then this time walk could bury them. Very bad for me here. Now they've got an active mentor, and it's kind of open season on me for next turn because I know I've got nothing in my hand. That said, they do have to do something, and I know at least one of their cards is just land. Okay, so they do have Dreadhorde Arcanists. That'd be a great time to draw that Toxic Deluge. I'm imagining stuff like gets blocked and then they just have plow to trigger a bunch of stuff on the other one. Okay. I'm fine with this if nothing else happens.
And then this will just turn off any crazy delve spells. <clears throat> Don't pay costs, don't pay costs. I shot coming down eating a pyroblast isn't the worst thing in the world. Depends a lot on what these remaining two cards are in my opponent's hand. I guess they've been a little cut on reds, so it's possible a hand was just pyroblast loaded before. The difference between winning and losing this game is pretty high, so I'm kind of anxious. The difference between a 3 2 and a 4 1. <laughs> Another fluster throwing their own thing just to get more counters. Can they pay their Fluster Storm cost? Or get more tokens? So this is them desperate to stay alive, which I don't mind. This also leaves Ashok in play. Because <laughs> they cannot pay for all of this. Oh, they, no, they flushed from their own flusters. I get it. Okay. I get it. Okay. So some kind of removal spell is presumably lethal. Now be very time for that talk to Dilu! Did I just bump a bunch of stuff? I just bumped a bunch of stuff. No! Not now. Don't enable dictation. No! Not now. Stop it. I want to be careful not to make these guys too small. Too... Three... Whatever I do is going to make them small, actually. I can't stop that. Yeah, that was actually not... I did not think that through. So I could grab, actually, Leopold Vox Jet seems fine. Okay, but they can't draw another card this turn, thanks to Leovold. <clears throat> 